Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And that's what heard on two legends and a hot YouTuber in this fight game. We have Jake Paul, the hottest YouTuber in this fight game, the man that's making his name very known and pulling in a lot of money. Then we have Canelo Alvarez, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion, one of the hottest fighters in the world, and he will go down as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. And then we have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champion, the CEO and the president of Mayweather Promotions, and we all know Floyd is still, you know, getting in with exhibition bouts right now. But Floyd Mayweather has came out, everybody, and let Jake Paul know that Canelo will fuck him up. I want y'all to listen to what Floyd had to say, and I'll be back with a great assessment, family. He told me before his goal is to fight Canelo, so that's, you know where uh, his no, mindset is. He'd he, he get fucked up by Canelo. Oh, I'm sorry. It's TMT. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I, you, can I, I, you can curse. You can curse. <laughs> I apologize, but not, no apologize. No, there, there's no way he get he get demolished. But y'all see, Floyd Mayweather is letting Jake Paul know he will get demolished by Canelo Alvarez, and it's just Floyd being real, telling the truth, right? Letting these boys know that it's a, it's it's levels, man. It's real levels to this boxing game. If you go get into this boxing game, stick to what you do best. And what Floyd was saying was, it's okay with him fighting. You know, UFC fighters over the prime and YouTubers, he can do his thing against those fighters and have success and pull in the money that he's pulling in. So Floyd saying him and his brother's playing the game good. But when you're talking about fighting somebody like this killer, this king right here in King Nello, man, the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, go be one of the greatest to ever lace him up. You feel me? Still a face of boxing. When you're talking about getting into the ring with a killer like this and you being in a sport is only a little short of time and just training and doing a little sparring, and you think you can last with a Canelo Alvarez? Like Floyd say, he'll get fucked up playing with Canelo Alvarez. He'll get demolished fucking with Canelo Alvarez. He'll get put in the hospital, and I promise you, he'll never want to get into the ring again. I'm going to sit up here and promise you, if Jake Paul was to share a ring with Canelo Alvarez, that would be the last time he share a ring with any fighter. Any fighter, he will go back to YouTube and, and he will do something different. You understand? Now, listen, I like Jake Paul. When you look at him right here, you see him knocking out people, little sparring partners, little people that they bringing into the ring. The dude can fight. He can fight. He just can't fight professional with real professional fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like Jake Paul, he do good inside the ring, man, when you put um, head girl on, you know, with gloves that can protect you, you feel me? So you see him out here knocking out these dudes. Like, we all know who the fuck these dudes is. We all know who they are. Now, I will say this. The great Corey Spinks, my brother, St. Louis own, said Jake can fight a little bit, bro. He gave me just doing this crazy. said Jake can fight a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You put him into the ring, he can fight. The only thing about it is he don't have no defense. <laughs> he don't have no defense. So that says a lot. Where you're going now, you can throw your hands, but if you don't have no defense in a professional sport where you get hit and you can get hurt and you can potentially die or become brain dead or lose an eye or get a broken nose or a broken rib, like you can really get fucked up, you don't want to shut a ring with real fighters, my boy. Especially with somebody like a Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? Canelo go break your rib cage, then he go come upstairs, he go knock you out cold. He going to break your rib cage, then he going to come back upstairs and knock you out cold. And like I said, I like Jake Paul. Everything he's doing in the boxing game, what he's doing for women boxing, what he's doing for fighters, making sure they get their biggest paydays. He's taking a, a, a pay cut to make sure they get their pay, his, they biggest paydays. It's something special. You know what I'm saying? It's something special. So I don't mind him going out there fighting exhibition fights like Floyd said with, with you know, UFC fighters, you know, that's that's. Uh, retired and things of that nature looking for an extra dollar and YouTubers that's on your level right because you are pulling in money with the, the media pay-per-view buys and, and bringing in bread because Jake Paul have a big following him and Logan Paul they following this fucking big so when they step inside the ring and have a fight you know the, the, the people that, that rock with them they go really rock with them and that's a beautiful thing because you put eyeballs on the sport of boxing with whomever fighting you know on that night you know what I mean? Like I say, I had a little nephew that told me, hey, man, you go battle Logan Paul in the KSI fight? I didn't even know who they was. But I got it for them, and I got, you know, um, I learned about the, 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 the Paul brothers after that. But, you know, Floyd is not here to joke around and play around or, or 
lie about certain things just because people think him and Canelo is beefing or this, that, and the third. When it comes to somebody like a Jake Paul or Canelo Alvarez, you can't do nothing but tell the truth, man. You can't do nothing but tell the truth. You know what I mean? Jake Paul, he probably believes in his head that he's a real professional fighter and that he can hang with the big dogs. But with somebody like a Canelo Alvarez, bro, cut it out. Please cut it out. People looking at Canelo losing to Demetri Bivol, a world champion, an undefeated world champion, a gold medalist, a man that's been doing this shit for a long time now. I said a long time now. And you want to compare Jake Paul to Demetri Bivol, man, please stop playing with Monty Brown. You know what I'm saying? Stop watching boxing if y'all going to compare Jake Paul to a goddamn Demetri Bivol, bro. Please stop it. You understand what I'm saying? It's like fucking apples and oranges. You dig? No matter of fact, it's like apples to a motherfucking peanut. That's how small Jake Paul is when it comes to Demetri Bivol with this boxing game. You feel me? Don't play with Canelo like that like he's some type of small potato to where somebody like a Jake Paul who's a four-round fighter, for real, right? Think he go get into the ring with somebody like Canelo Alvarez, man. I, I made plenty of videos. Then y'all know Canelo will put that little boy in the hospital. In the hospital. Seriously hurt him. Seriously hurt him. You know, and I don't want to see that happen to Jake Paul. I like him. But once you get into that ring and you playing with killers like Canelo, you'll get yourself killed. You want to get yourself killed. And nobody can blame nobody. They can only blame you for signing that contract and getting your ass inside that ring. Because Canelo ain't going to have no mercy on you. He's not going to go out there and get embarrassed by a fucking YouTuber. It's just not going to happen. He's not going to get embarrassed by a YouTuber. And he's not Floyd Mayweather who's retired and carry y'all boys just so he can get another payday, another paycheck to make y'all look like y'all did something. Canelo ain't playing them type of games. He's going to get in there and really fuck you up. Because that's what he do. That's his world. You feel me? That's his world. So I respect Floyd for coming out, being honest, and just putting the real out there and letting them know that, listen, man, I'm not going to play with y'all, man. Jake Paul said he wanted to fight Canelo. He would get fucked up. <laughs> Period. He would get demolished. You know what I'm saying? Demolished. Disintegrated. You know what I mean? It'll be like his ass got cremated. It'll be no more Jake Paul. So if Jake Paul want to keep this thing going that he got going where he feel like it's a beautiful thing where he's getting recognition fighting certain fighters, like Floyd say, he better stick to picking and choosing them, you, them, them, them YouTubers and them UFC fighters. You know what I'm saying? People like um, Anderson Silva, who's going to be a tough fight for him. But people of that, of that category, you know what I'm saying? Um, basketball players like Nate Robinson and... Um, Tyron Woodley's and shit like that. You better continue to fight those type of fighters. That's why the fight didn't happen with um, Hasin Rotman Jr., to be honest with you. That fight didn't happen because Hasin Rotman Jr. was a little bit too much for Jake Paul. And they knew that they sells. You feel me? They knew that. So, shouts out to Floyd Man for coming out, speaking the real, letting Jake Paul know, stay away from Canelo Alvarez. You don't stand a chance. Praise the Canelo, giving him his just on his credit when people think that is real beef. And, you know, we'll see what Jake Paul go from here. We'll know where Canelo go from here. We'll see what Floyd doing. He just got to win over the, the, the Japanese cast. So, at the end of the day, all three of these boys is making real money. They're making great money. And they support their families. And I salute it. But once again, Jake Paul don't have nothing coming with Canelo Alvarez. And the words of Floyd Mayweather, he'll get his ass fucked up. Straight like that. And today, it's your boy Money's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trade out the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.